This might take more than 140 characters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who should not use Twitter. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the celebrities who recognize that they have a platform capable of reaching millions of people with their thoughts and opinions, but often fail to think before they tweet. Number 10, Anthony Weiner. I think that at some point, we've got to start focusing on other issues. This former congressman made the mistake of publicly posting a picture of his genitals, not only to his followers, but directed specifically at one female follower, who notably was not his wife. Not only did this cock up suggest that Weiner didn't know the difference between the site's public and private functions, it also suggests he was using it as a dating app of sorts. It wasn't the only time he used modern tech to troll for ladies either, as he was later caught cheating again through text messages. The takeaway? Twitter's for tweeting, not cheating. And if your name is Weiner, maybe don't tweet your bird. Who is Boehner fooling? What am I, like Anthony Weiner? But with this controversy, the congressman's answers have only raised more questions. Number 9. Rob Kardashian while his sister Kim uses the platform to grow her celebrity, younger brother Rob Kardashian has gained his own kind of notoriety on Twitter for sharing too much information. After his split with Rita Ora, he called her out online for cheating on him with over 20 other men and claimed that he impregnated her before their separation. He's also complained about his stepsister Kylie Jenner for not inviting Black China, the mother of his child, to a baby shower thrown for Rob. In response, he tweeted out Kylie's phone number, because that'll teach her? Number 8. 50 Cent Go shorty, it's your birthday. Rapper 50 Cent is still making music today, but it rarely gets as much attention as his Twitter account does. And what does he do with this far-reaching platform? Why, he insults his followers, of course. While engaging in Twitter arguments, 50 has used special ed and autistic as comebacks. Besides offending the entire special needs community, he's also made comments offensive to people from developing nations, women, and pretty much anyone who's ever read any of his tweets. Number 7. CM Punk Philip Jack Brooks, better known by his ring name CM Punk, is expected to fight it out with fellow wrestlers. In the ring, not on social media. But apparently Punk didn't get that memo before getting into it with UFC fighter Kahal Pendred on Twitter. Of course, Pendra did start it, but Punk could have just ignored him. Instead, what followed was a series of tweets between the two calling each other names. And that's not the first time CM Punk's been caught name-calling on Twitter. His wrestling persona may be an outspoken badass fighter, but maybe he should save the smack-talking for the ring. Number 6. Jason Biggs Using humor to deal with tragedy can be an effective coping mechanism. It can also be wildly inappropriate something Jason Biggs has had to learn the hard way not once, but twice. After the Malaysian Airlines crash in 2014, the American Pie actor took to Twitter not only to express sympathy for the victims' families, but also to offer up his frequent flyer miles. That same year, when a contestant on Andy Dorfman's season of The Bachelorette died before the show aired, Biggs tweeted a joke about contestants being killed off that season instead, which was not exactly well received. Number 5. Chris Brown Unlike some people on this list, there isn't one specific tweet that Chris Brown should regret posting. His entire Twitter page is one big regret. From his beefs with numerous celebs to obnoxious photos of him smoking weed, even Chris Brown knows his Twitter sucks. He actually deleted his account at one point after engaging in a particularly nasty Twitter feud with comedian Jenny Johnson. Bowing out and admitting defeat like that is almost worthy of props, but unfortunately, he reactivated his account again shortly after, and the train wreck continues. Number 4. Jaden Smith That was hard to believe, but it's actually true. If you ever stumble upon this young actor and musician's Twitter page, you might find yourself wondering if you actually ended up on some philosopher's account instead. Nope, it's just Jaden Smith being deep and spouting nonsense that doesn't mean anything to anyone but himself. While Twitter is as good a platform as any for his strange, unusual thoughts, you have to wonder what's going through his mind when he hits tweet. They may not be as deep or as thought-provoking as Smith intends, but they are ultimately harmless and inadvertently entertaining. Number 3. Tila Tequila If you want to know how to get kicked off Twitter, just ask this former reality TV star. 
Yes, Tila Tequila should not use Twitter. And thanks to moderators, she's been banned from the website since late 2016 for using her account to spread hate speech and promote Nazism. And between her wishing Hitler a happy birthday and posting pictures of herself in front of concentration camps sporting Nazi garb, it's not hard to understand why. There's annoying, there's dumb, there's inconsiderate, there's hateful. And then there's Tila Tequila. Number two, Azalea Banks. We've seen many Twitter feuds on this list, but no one's gotten into more fights with other celebrities than rapper Azalea Banks. That's probably why, like Tila Tequila, her account was suspended. But before that happened, she used the platform to diss people like Sarah Palin, Kendrick Lamar, Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea, and a very long list of others. But among her most famous feuds was the one she had with One Direction member Zayn Malik, who was the target of racism and xenophobic remarks, as well as a series of bizarre put-downs aimed at then 14-year-old Sky Jackson. Always the high road. Number one, Donald Trump. Former businessman turned President Donald Trump has become infamous for his tweets, mostly those containing his brutally honest opinions regarding politics. Twitter is where he openly criticizes former President Obama, where we've kept hearing about the wall for so long, and where he calls out all the haters and losers who don't support him. Mr. Trump, please stop retweeting all these random, real people. Closer to election night, Trump's team literally took his Twitter account away from him because of how unpredictable his tweeting can be. In this day and age, having a president who tweets isn't abnormal. And when you see the kinds of things Trump tweets, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Trump is definitely tweeting for himself. Tell me about your Twitter bio. It says liberalism is a mental illness. <laughs> Whoa, I just got retweeted. Oh, by who? <laughs> Another great retweet. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.